versus nurture. So why am I talking about this on the channel? Well, I've been, I've actually mentioned it in a couple of my videos and I thought it'd be a really good idea to define what it is. Because I mean, I, I um, when I did my A-levels and my degree, I learned about this nature-nurture debate, etc. It's been something that's going, you know, that's been in great tussle in science um, for, for many years. And um, the research I've done um, for this is actually, they, their results were that um, the whole, um, nature versus nurture is probably about 50 50 depending on what it is so we really need to know what our nature is and what our nurture is and how these shape up to make us the wonderful people that we are today so I hope this will give you a bit of an introduction into to it um, and just to explain a bit better because like I say I've talked about this in a lot of videos and it's really important when we're talking about mental illness to understand nature versus nurture because we can see how we've developed ourselves and you know what's made us who we are not just with mental illness but with everything really so what what am I talking about well I've got this information today from the University of Queensland um, and nature nurture so nature versus nurture research shows it's both shows it shows us it's both um, I also took an article from brighthub.com and which is called how do nature and nurture influence human development that information is in the description below if you want to do any further reading on this topic I really encourage it it's great to do research great to find out some cool stuff and um, yeah if you want to have a go there's the links below so what is this what am I talking about let's 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 introduce it so nature versus nurture has been probably one of the biggest debates in the science community for many many years some people saying that you know it's completely our genetics that make us who we are and other people saying actually it's more to do with our environment so let me just clarify here so nature is our genes are what we're given what we're born with what our, what nature gives us and our nurture is the environment that we live in the, the area that we grow up throughout our life so and in this great article from Queen, Queensland University really great article guys um, they they basically said that I'll just read out the first sentence shall I one of the great tassels tussles of science whether our health is governed by our nature or nurture has been settled and is effectively a draw so they are saying now it is 50 50 I think if you read the full article they do say some illnesses will be more more genetics than environment others may be more environment than um, genetics but they say on average it's about 50 50 with 49 percent being our genetics and 51 being our environment so actually they're saying that it is more down to our environment only by slightly that actually makes us the people we are so it is genetics, it is environment, it is nature and it is nurture, but they are now saying that it is 50-50. So for example, if we are born with the genetic predisposition to develop, to develop depression, um, but we have an environment um, that is quite healthy, we may not go on to develop depression. It may just lay dormant there. But if we have an environment, sorry, if we are born with a predisposition, disposition to develop depression and we have an environment that maybe is full of negativity trauma maybe even abuse and neglect it is very likely that we are going to go on to develop mental illness and vice versa if you have no you don't have the predisposition disposition with the genetics I really struggle with that word don't I um, if you do have the pre if you don't have the predisposition and you don't have an environment with that with with negative things you probably aren't going to likely aren't likely to develop I think I've just said that one twice but never mind <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll keep going so yeah it, it really it really is about 50 50 but let's let's go into a bit more more detail what is our nature nature can loosely be defined as genetic inheritance or the genetic makeup so the information that's coded by our genes I'm not going to be talking about the 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 the, the brain and and the, you know all of that in this video this is just defining nature nurture but that this topic is such a huge thing and once again I'm trying to condense it into a small video so our nature is our genetic makeup the person us as human beings as best people inherit from both parents at the time of conception and this stuff can carry throughout life so several things that are individually genetically inherited so these are our eye color 
um, are talents. So it might be that you are born very artistic or you may be a good singer. This could be from your genetic makeup. Maybe your parents were good singers and things like your height. I mean, I wasn't, <laughs> I must have missed that one because I'm quite short. So uh, yeah, my height and uh, anyway. Uh, so if you are, and also risk of disease. So it might be that both your parents have um, the risk of developing t type one diabetes. It might be then you're likely to get it. Um, again, and if you are born with, sorry, if, if, if both your parents carry the carry um, genes that could develop into mental illness, it could mean that you get them from them as well. But what I'm saying is here um, that nature, the concept of nature refers to the biologically inherited tendencies and abilities that people have, which get revealed later on. So it's, it's there. If you're a good singer, a good dancer, your parents may have been dancers or singers, etc., then you will have that. So that is our nature, what our parents give us, what we are given with, our genes, our genetic code. That is our nature. What is our nurture? Nurture can be defined as, a, as the different environmental factors to which a person is subjected to from birth to death. So everything. It's not just our childhood upbringing. It's what happens when we're teenagers, what happens when, we, when we're adults, when we're young adults, and as we get older. You know, our environment will change. Um, you know, we may start off in one environment and then move to another and then move to another and move to another. It's all the things that shape us around us. So and there's many, many dimensions to this. Um, so they include both physical um, environments and the social environment. So our physical environments could be, for example, prenatal nutrition. So if you are, um, you know, if you are born um, with, with with bad nutrition, maybe from being in the womb and things like that, you may already start out your life not as healthy as maybe other people do. So that may have you kind of you know sorry that may be something that happens to you as a baby um but then that physical environment may change you may get healthier and, and things like that so but that is one area the social environment so this is our neighborhood even the media the peer pressure also if you've experienced any abuse or seen abuse be viewed it you know maybe your your father hitting your mum or you know or you know any child abuse or something like that if your environment is filled with that negativity danger threat no stability then and and you've got the the nature from your parents of maybe a predisposition to develop depression then this could be experienced here so also um, in our nurture environmental factors have different levels of impact on the human development sorry also environmental factors have different levels of impact on human development as they involve multiple layers of action ranging from the most immediate so this could be starting our nature could be with our family so this is our sorry our nurture sorry our nurture is our family and they are hopefully very stable and caring and then from there you go extended to maybe your extended family they're in your environment as well so if, if there are negative people around you or maybe they're really lovely then you can have a really positive environment with them this then extends to your friends and your neighborhood and your community so if you feel like you're part of your community you've got close friends you may feel very stable um, but on the flip side if you are isolated you are living alone maybe an elderly person um, who doesn't have the connection of the family anymore, maybe doesn't really um, uh, go with the community or anything like that, then that could have an impact on your life, making you probably develop um, maybe, uh, you know, social phobias or depression, generalised anxiety disorder. But then it gets even bigger than that. So we've got our school systems, our local governments, how that impacts us. And then on a, m a much bigger scale, macro factors, so politics, international politics, the state of the world right now. Oh my goodness. It's like, it's absolutely crazy. There's so much corruption and it's being led by all these people and there's, you know, bombs and wars and blah, blah, blah. On top of that, we've got an um, increase in population, overpopulation and global warming. All of these things could then make us feel like our environment is unsafe, unstable. And all of these layers together from from the from the sort of the social ones all the way to the big social context, the big macro the, the politics and global warming, all of these can ha have an impact on us. So, for example, a teenager, feel for you teenagers, man, it was a horrible time. Well done if you're getting through it. But 
um, teenagers. So they, they, you'll be exposed to peer pressure. So you'd be like friends of like, oh, you're not doing that. You're sad or you're a loser or whatever. I don't know what the terminology is for that nowadays. But you'll still have pressure from your peers. You'll have pressure from your parents. You know, perhaps maybe one of your parents is kind of like, you must go to university. That's the only thing you're going to do. I don't want you to do anything else. Then you've got that pressure from that as well. So you're kind of... Um, And then you've got your community standards, your ethical views, your values, all of these things that shape up who you are. And if your environment is, if you are dealt a bad hand with your environment and dealt a bad hand with your genetics, then nature and nurture can kick you in the ass. So I hope that's explained nature versus nurture. Um, Like I say, there's more research if you want to do some more research on your own, but I think that should cover it. So when I do talk about nature and nurture in any of my videos, especially when I talk about it, I think in my one of my earlier videos, what causes mental illness? um, I I touched on it there because it's a really important thing to talk about. And I really, really hope that you have benefited from this and that, you know, you'll take it into your life and sort of think about what about your genetics? What about your environment? What about your nature and your nurture? Let me know what you think. Please put any comments below. Please let me know if this is all new information or if you've got, you know, maybe you've got an argument against this. Maybe you don't think that it's 50-50. Whatever you think, please let me know. It's really great to hear from you guys. And um, yeah, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Take care now. Bye.